Hi, I'm Selena Podla, and I'm here with the God Eaters. What got you guys into music? My dad's, I don't know, classic rock album collection. He had like Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and stuff. That's how I got into it. Leonard Skinner was my first love. What about you? Uh, Dylan is my older brother, so I would say uh, he definitely inspired me to play music and kind of got me into playing and turned me along to a lot of the music that I enjoy. I stole a Green Day CD from my mom when I was 10 and uh, decided I wanted to play drums. Describe the type of music that you play. Noise rock, yeah. I think we're all kind of all over the place. You know, we all kind of have our own influences too. I think we like a lot of the same music. I you know Devin is really into jazz. Unwound. The Jesus Lizard yeah. was a big one. Slint. Unwound. Unwound. Shellac and local bands too. Saw. Saw yeah, definitely. old local bands. Saw. Yeah. You might have heard of them. S A H. What can fans expect from your upcoming vinyl album release? Classic hits. Classic hits yeah. from some <laughs> classic boys. Yeah. You know, this record we recorded, when did we record this record? 2018 or 19? 2018, yeah. 2018. Down in Milwaukee, and we've kind of been sitting on it for a while, so a lot of these songs, well, the three songs that are on it, <laughs> people haven't even heard. Maybe they've heard. Maybe we played them. We played them live like a few times. Yeah. Think, yeah. Um, Maybe not in their full form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be extremely loud. Don't miss the upcoming performance by the God Eaters at the Jeff and John's Record Show, Thursday, March 28th, at the Ordoc Brewing Company. Joining them will be power pop sensation Liquid Mike and the debut performance of Slack Rockers Anise Star. This is Selena Podla reporting from Marquette with the God Eaters for ABC 10 News.